I think that when you look at just the statistics of what this defense has been to this point, um, th their pass coverage is terrible. Uh, and, and you coming into this game, they had allowed 71% completions against. I mean, they were right down there with the worst teams in football. Uh, 71%. I actually could, was closer to 72%. Opposing quarterbacks completing passes against this defense. And then the number got worse today. De Derek Carr is what, 31 for 34? Mm -hmm. 90 uh, for what? For 90, 90 plus percent. Yeah. Completion. And, and as I was saying to you, as I was saying to Barrett during the break, 34 pass attempts. How many tough throws did he have? How many of these throws were the kind of throws you expect to see in the NFL? Thread the needle, tight window kinds of throws that the NFL is built on. Not here. Oh, you mean, oh we weren't watching 707. No, that looked this, like 707 to me. We, I, say, I say this every week, and it becomes more true every week. Watching this team play defense is like watching 7 on 7. Well, but yeah. listen, the, the reason why his, percent, his, his completion percentage can be so high is because they're lined up in predictable defenses all the time, and they don't disguise. They don't move. The cornerbacks don't get up and back. The safeties don't fake like they're in one coverage and, and go to another. The linebackers don't get up and sugar like they're going to blitz and then drop out. They line up. They're stationary. They're stagnant. And for a good quarterback, a, a, a good quarterback like Derek Carr, if he's looking at it, he's like, okay, they're in this coverage. If I know that, that they're in that coverage, okay, this is my primary. If for some odd reason or another, the timing's off and it's not there, I know I always got the check down. I can get five or six because the linebackers don't, don't tackle that well. Yeah, but, you know? but here, here's the question, though. In this town, we all want to know where to lay the blame when things go bad. <laughs> and I was asking you, this, I was asking all of you as we're watching the game, do they have the? I know they don't have eight, ten Pro Bowlers on this team. I get that, but between the talent they had, and which is what it's about in Major League Sports, it's about the talent. I get it, but sometimes coaching can make up for a lack of talent. Michael, do they have will, enough talent listen, to I'll, win games I'll, to be better than two and five listen, right now? I will say this: um, they need better talent at certain positions. They need safeties. They need linebackers. Okay, and they need a proven, a proven outside rusher on the defensive line. Now, that being said, and, and even when you look at the offensive side of the ball, you got some young guys, but, you know, you have some guys that can play football. You know, we used to always say, you know, even when you're in the huddle and you get a call that comes in and everybody's looking at each other like he actually called that in this situation, you know, as players, it's our job to execute to the best of our ability the call that's made in spite of the bad call, okay? Now, as a coordinator, you can help your players be better by calling better plays and putting your players in better position. The chess game is, can your coach out-strategize the coach on the other side, okay? So it's twofold. They need some more talent, but they are woefully short as far as the coaching is concerned. Yeah. And that's the thing that concerns me the most, okay? It, it, are they, is this coaching staff going to turn the corner, or is this what we have to look forward to the rest of the year and into next year? Right. i got a pick and click for you I want you to answer on this one. Uh, and you can go to NBCSportsPhiladelphia.com slash pick and click. You can click as many times as you choose. Where's the blame go on this one? Who is most to blame, uh, not just for this game, but I would go as far as to say the season. Is a lack of talent, the players? Michael, I'm sorry. You can't, you can't just say one or the other. They're all culpable. You, uh, no, I need an answer. Everybody. I need an answer. I just one gave or you an the answer. other. I know they may all be culpable, but, but here's the, Ray and, and uh, Barrett. To Seth's point earlier about the defensive line having the wrong foot forward, that's not just strategy. That's being coached or allowed. Do they have the talent, if the coaching's better, Ray, to, to, to be significantly better than two and five right now? Well, when you're in the situation there in now, everybody shares it. I mean, you can take it all the way up to the front office who drafted these guys. Um, you, you don't have that many good players. But... With better coaching, you can get more out of what you've got. Yeah. I think that's the point. Uh, and that's kind of where you are with this team. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times. It was, this was so easy 
for Derek Carr today. I mean, this was so easy. This was like taking candy from a baby. I, I can't tell you, how many, when the Eagles are playing one safety, he knows exactly what's one safety. He, he would look that safety off, and he'd come back to the open side of the field. That's why he had all those easy throws, and the Eagles never adjusted from that. And, I mean, everything that happened in this game was... This was so easy. They made it so easy for the, for the Raiders. And I just, it's very frustrating for me to see this team unable to, when they get in the middle of the game and they come out with what looks like a reasonably effective plan early, and then they totally abandon it, and then they get back to doing what they were doing before, and then they never get back to it. I mean, I think they were not, the Raiders are a better team, but they're not that much better that they should be able Absolutely. to dominate yeah. you the way they did today. Absolutely.